Nelson Price. I'm the president of the Glendora Historical Society, and I'd like to thank you for all coming. And I know this is a, uh, this is a proper day for having this uh, dedication for this flagpole, and I thank you for taking up your time on this uh, 4th of July. Uh, if you notice, uh, Joe Ficassi is the uh, farming this for the uh, cable vision. And uh, we do have several dignitaries we'd like to, uh, we'll be speaking shortly. And, uh, and also some of the city employees. Need those? You better hang on to these or I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Souvenirs. Thank you. Uh, the first person is Culver Heaton. He's uh, deputy city manager and councilwoman Lois Shade. Also, I'd like to introduce the uh, executive board of the uh, museum and curators. First is parliamentarian Ida Ficassi. Step up here, please. <laughs> Get a hold of my cards. <laughs> Georgia Harthorne, first vice president. Second vice president, Diane Healy. Recording secretary, Penny Paulus, could not be here tonight or today. And a corresponding secretary, Skeeter Hopstead. And treasurer, Bart Young. Hey Nelson, what's this bill here for the flagpole? You gave <laughs> Pay it or they're going to take it out. <laughs> and the two uh, co curators, uh, Kay Hall and Linda Price. Uh, State Senator Frank Hill could not be here today. <laughs> this is how the day <laughs> But he did send a letter and a certificate and recognition. After the ceremony, so we will have that in the uh, museum that you can all read. Uh, Congressman David Dreyer is coming, but he had another ceremony at the Covina. Uh, they had another dedication of uh, flagpole there, and he will make it later on. And uh, Sarah Flores is representing Mike Antonovich. Uh, would you like to say a few words? I was invited to go to Covina also, but I couldn't split myself in two. And I chose to be here with my own town and my own city with my own friends. And I think what's very important is to know that history is, is part of our existence and what makes things worth living for. Every Sunday I go to church with my mother and she tells me the story of our family and I listen to the little things that happened in her life. And also my grandchildren benefit from that. Without history we don't have the love of country. And without that pride in who we are, I don't think we as Americans could be as strong as we are, because we are a kind country, a good country. And Glendora is one of those very rare cities where that beauty still exists, where people can be friends, where people really care. So it gives me great pleasure to represent a man who I believe in, which is Mike Antonovich. He is someone I went to school with, someone I have fought with, someone who I disagree with but someone I respect and someone I care for. And Glendora, you are very important because through your cherishing history, you're giving a meaning to our life here in this grand city. 
So with sincere congratulations and best wishes from the Board of Supervisors, the County of Los Angeles does hereby join in the celebration and installation of the new flagpole, Glendora Historical Museum dedication ceremony on July 4th, the birth of our country. I am proud to be an American, and I will be proud till the day that I die. I was taught to say my prayers first, and I was taught to also recite the preamble. So without love of God and country, we will not be strong. God bless you from Mike and Tonovich. Glendora Mayor Pro Tem is Marshall Mal. Would you like to say a few words? It's just a real honor for me to be here and to uh, share this occasion with all of you, both as a member of the Historical Society and then also uh, representing the city and the city council as Mayor Pro Tem. I think it's very appropriate that we be having this flagpole uh, dedication uh, here today on uh, July 4th, uh, right here at our own Historical Society Museum. Uh, our country is 217 years old today. Our uh, Historical Society is celebrating uh, its 40, 46th year uh, of operations uh, this year. And finally, we have a flagpole uh, right here to uh, help commemorate it. But what I think is particularly significant is that we as a community, we as a city of Glendora, really would not exist without the United States of America. Obviously, this area, the, this region, the, goes back much further the, than our own nation's history or even our own the, community's history. Inside, where we have a display of Indian artifacts that date back 6,000, 8,000 years. And yet, basically, everything that we have on display inside the museum here, with that exception and maybe one or two others, dates from the, from the American epic, uh, since the time of the uh, Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which made this uh, American territory in the year 1848, and then starting in 1872, 1873, with some of the early settlers uh, coming in. Then in 1887, the coming of the railroad, and then our own uh, community actually being incorporated as a city in 1911. But what we have inside the museum here basically commemorates what has happened here in this community since it's been a part of the United States of America. And so because of that, I think it's just very appropriate that we have the symbol of our nation, uh, our own country's flag, uh, flying above what's on display here. So I would just like to give a very special word of thanks to the Historical Society, to the Kiwanis Club, to the, the Masonic Lodge here for making this all possible, and also to the Daughters of the American Revolution, which I understand is actually going to be contributing the flag. So to all of you, just a very heartfelt thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to uncover the, uh, the plaque that we have. And it reads, uh, flagpole donated by the Glendora Historical Society, Glendora Masonic Lodge 404, and the Glendora Kiwanis Club. Dedicated July 4th, 1993. <coughs> and the president is... Loser, some guy. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, this day was made possible <coughs> by the monetary contributions by the three organizations, the Guanas Club, the Glendor Masonic Lodge, and Glendor Historical Society. The, uh, the Glendor Historical Society had a uh, garage sale or yard sale, whatever you, had, you want, and it was about a year ago, and uh, the money we did not want to put into our, you might say, coffers. We wanted to do something special with it. So we decided we'd uh, put up a flagpole because all museums or most museums have flagpoles. So we didn't have quite enough money so we contacted the Kiwanis and they were very enthusiastic about it and donated $500. We still need a, just a little bit more so <laughs> we contacted the Masonic Lodge and uh, they were very happy also to donate $500. So we greatly thank 
those organizations to, uh, that donated this rifle. And uh, we would like to, uh, this is the representative from the uh, Kiwanis up here. I can help. Vice <laughs> <laughs> president. <laughs> Paul Reed, would you yes. like to say something? Well, no, some speeches. Uh, did well, I look good already, and I think I would just say that on behalf of Glendora Quantas Club, which has been around Glendora for 60 some odd years, that we're happy to be invited to participate. Thank you for the opportunity. Next is the, the Masonic Lodge, the master of uh, Glendora Masonic Lodge. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you. I'll make this short. It's hot. On behalf of the Glendora Masonic Lodge, it's a pleasure to be here, and it was a pleasure to help fund the flagpole. Uh, Glendora has always been known as Pride of the Foothills. This flag has a lot of pride in Glendora and to its country, and I'd like to see more flags be flown around uh, the country and this community. Thank you. The flagpole is a great, uh, great thing, but it's uh, it's just a pole in the air for what is not for the American flag. Because the uh, Serrano, just because the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution. It's uh, Diane uh, Robinson. Excuse me. See me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not listening. Can you want me now? <laughs> well, happy Fourth of July, everybody. As you know, I represent a group that whose forefathers were very instrumental and getting this all accomplished for everyone. I also have a fellow daughter that's with me today, and that's our own Linda Price. Yes, we um, probably went into the group at the same time to share the same birthday and everything else. So I know what she has done here today has just been a real wonderful thing. And doing what she believes in, <laughs> getting this flag up this fall. Well, as many of you know, on uh, June 14, 1777, only months uh, after the Declaration of Independence was signed, we had four bitter years of fighting yet ahead of us. And the Continental Congress adopted the Stars and the Stripes as the flag of the United States of America. The American flag today means what you all make it mean. We have in our power to make it a banner of peace throughout the world, or we can, you know, not give it that dignity. So we think we're going to use it in a very positive way to show everybody exactly what America is all about. So we use it as this banner of peace so everybody can recognize who we are, what we are, and what we believe in. Uh, here at home, our flag is the ensign of the liberty and the justice and the opportunity and in all these things, all Americans from all countries, regardless of how they get their citizenship, we all unite. I appreciated a lot of what Sarah had to say earlier. You know, uh, we all have the same ideals and principles or else we wouldn't be here. Now, George Washington was asked one time to describe the flag. And he said, the stars and the blue are from heaven the red from the mother country, England, separating it by white stripes, thus showing we have separated from her. The white stripes shall go down in posterity, representing liberty. Our flag stands for dignity, honor, and the protection of all who love liberty and equality and who claim the sheltering protection it has always given. I'm just going to lay them down. Is that okay? <laughs> At this time, I would like you to all bow your heads for a moment. I'd like to say a prayer.
before we get it up on the pole. Just a minute, everybody. We're not going to pray for a second. <laughs> We're going to have a little interlude here. We just uh, found out that we have someone that just arrived, and so you don't get your prayer until later. Okay? So I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to present Congressman Dreyer. Would you like to say something? There are more than a few people who would argue that it's best to save your prayers until after I've spoken. <laughs> so this obviously is one of those occasions. Let me uh, first uh, extend an apology on the Independence Day we have the opportunity to raise many flags and to ride in many parades, and uh, my wonderful office has arranged for me the opportunity to do everything. <laughs> that's the reason that I was just a little tardy, because we were raising a flag in, uh, in the Covina Park. Let me say that uh, on the 4th of July, it's a time when families have the opportunity to come together and uh, renew their relationships and friendships and all, and too often people forget uh, exactly what this day means, and clearly this day is uh, an incredibly important one. When we think of the people who have throughout the past two centuries plus fought on behalf of first the independence of this country and then our brilliant, inspired constitution, it's a time for us to come together and renew that commitment to the greatest nation the world has ever known. And I simply wanted to uh, stop by today and let all of you know that I very much appreciate the fact that I've been invited to be here, and uh, I look forward to having punch and cookies since I haven't gotten much to eat today. <laughs> and uh, I want to say that uh, now it's time for us to pray. <laughs> Let's all do this again. Let's bow our heads, please. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our flag because we are grateful for the things it says to our spirits and because we remember in solemn joy the things it has said to other generations of Americans. Let us never forget all who have died and sacrificed so much of themselves to defend the spirit of the symbol of America. Grant that we may be true to the ideals it teaches, that us the highest type of patriotism may be developed. And we will bear our flag and we will build up the witness to honor, justice, and integrity in life. Help us, gracious Lord, to be examples, examples of strength, virtues, integrity. Let us be examples in building respect. Let us love Bring us all together in your love and with your blessings. In thee we put our trust, O Lord, we truly do. Bless our America and keep her forever, free and safe from harm. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. I forgot to tell you, the Serrano chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, take great pride in dedicating and donating this flag for the use of the Glendora Historical Museum. Now we can put it on the pole. Do you want to help us? You want to make sure it gets up there, don't yeah. you? Right. <laughs> I was a Boy Scout. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I learned that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>